Hello gentle viewers, this is Avendian welcoming you to a new series of Hearts of Iron 4. So we've decided to go ahead and, and stop Red Alert 3 just because people weren't watching the videos. Um, and that's fine. Um, it's a very weird, highly fast-paced game and it's actually kind of hard to talk during it. A game like Hearts of Iron 4, on the other hand, is much easier. Those of you may recall, we did a Hungary Let's Play um, not too long ago. But today we're going to be playing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing in 1936 as Japan. And we're going to make Japan a people's republic. And we're going to make them communist. And we're going to see where this leads us um, as far as the game is concerned. So we get a few advantages to Japan. Um, Southern Expansion will end up fighting the United States most likely. We want to make our own faction if possible. And we have reduced factory bomb vulnerability and an increased division rate. Right. Um, I don't want historical ad focuses. I want all the chaos. Um, we're not going to change any of these. Those are just regular graphical options. And we're not going to play Iron Man. Again, just because it creates problems. So with that... Uh, we will go ahead and play right now. Start. I like the little chime. It's a really good introduction. Okay. Now, one of the reasons I chose Japan, which I probably should have before I clicked on the button, is I'd like to show off the naval aspect of the game a little bit more. Hungary didn't have a coastline for most of the game, thus we couldn't really do a navy. Um... I also really want to do an invasion of the United States. Um, I want to do one of the Britain too, but let's be honest, that's not going to be very challenging. Right. So, I've never played Japan before, so we have some interesting decisions to make, as we generally do. Good lord, we haven't... this just really... we're going to do a lot of reorganizing. First, we'll do the focus, because we want to lean towards communism as much as possible. Okay, this would give us a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union, and that'll let us attack the United States. Also, spiritual mobilization... Which tree do we want to go down? We are going to want to build a lot of the navy, but we need raw industrial power to begin with. We could try to trigger the Chinese border incident. It's not really a way for us to establish our industry, which makes sense. We could create our own faction. The thing is, creating our own communist faction probably wouldn't work very well, but I don't know. If we make China a puppet, which I think might be our best goal... I know historically 1937 is when Japan began the war against China. But I really like the idea of starting here, actually. Let's do spiritual mobilization. It'll give us bonus recruitable population. Um, tax. It's hard to argue with your traditional start, which is to go full industry as soon as possible. Um... Mechanical engineering. And we'll use our last spot on our first on our land doctrine. So we start with Grand Battle Plan, and, and we'll stick with that. Because we're going to be planning wars pretty long in advance. Okay. We're producing the Kaiju class. Well, let's start with building the civilian factors. 
One of the mistakes I made in my Hungary campaign, um, you really want to focus entirely on civilian factories for a very long time in the game. Um, and this is because civilian factories make more civilian factories, which make more civilian factories, which make more civilian factories, etc., 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 etc. So we're actually going to focus on those to begin with, and we're going to build them on the home islands. And once the home islands have some, some better factories, we'll then move on to other places. What do I want to do with the military factories? Um, uh, ignore the dockyard trend. Let's go ahead and spend these extra people making rifles. We will get into some kind of war with Japan, I promise you that. Or China. We won't get into war with Japan because we are Japan. Um... Please ignore these for right now. Um, this is almost finished, so we'll let it finish. But we will go ahead and start focusing on other things here for too much longer. We're going to do the boring thing. And we're going to spend our extra factories on making convoys. Because we're not making any for some strange reason. And we are going to need them. Okay. Yeah, Kaiju class can, can go away here. The problem is the only country that'll give us oil is the United States. Soviet Union actually might give us some. Let's try that. Oh, we don't have enough convoys. That's why we don't have enough oil. Okay. Well, we'll fix that cross that bridge when we come to it. And then rubber we'll get from Malaya. Okay, no divisions and basic training. We want Marines. Um, this is going to be the most important thing we need to have is Japan. Let's take a look at these. 12 combat worth is just garbage. We need a bigger division, but for now we don't have the army experience. We'll expand them later. Give me four division. No, not that many. I suck. Um, give me eight divisions and then stop there. It's going to take us a really long time to get there because we don't have enough equipment, but that's fine. This is just to get something in the pipeline. All right, unassigned divisions... Okay, you guys are going to be called, and I'm going to use a lot more of the names here, um, just so I can remember what belongs where. And this is going to be Home Islands. Because one of the biggest problems, and it's, and yeah, we'll use Garrison Area. And we will actually establish this in a bit. Okay. Um, I want you to focus on... Don't worry about resistance. Yeah, the rest of that is fine. We need 86 divisions to defend everything important. That's fine. Um, this is just a start. Oh, that included these guys in Korea? No, 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 no. You're going to be Korean army. Korean army. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's add... Everything else here is just going to be... We're actually going to call this the... What happened? What got caught? Damn it. Oh, no, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. We'll call this actually Chinese Army. And I will give it its own theater. I'd like to make China a puppet. I don't want to have to spend a lot of resources defending it. I'd like them to look after themselves. And if we do make our own faction, which I'm actually leaning toward, that's what'll happen. Okay. 
And then all you guys out here. You're going to defend the home islands. There we go. So everything we have is either home islands or that. And this actually, what's going to do is actually going to pull the units out and send them to the main home islands, which is fine with me. Um, I have no problem with that. If they want to take start island hopping early, they're welcome to do so. Okay. Let's look at the naval fleet. This really needs a lot of work here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. We're going to merge all these fleets together. So everything in the home islands is going to get merged into one fleet for right now. And then let us merge these. Which gives 29 destroyers, a heavy cruiser. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where is our naval base? I want to actually physically move the fleet to one of our naval bases. There we go, that fixed it. Okay. I know it actually doesn't, because there's still lots more ships just kind of hanging out. Please head to the home islands. What we're going to do is we're going to merge all the fleets first, and then we're going to separate them out, and then decide what we want to do with most of them. Um, it just makes sense to start that way. Okay. And we'll finish merging those here in a minute. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll just actually go ahead and unpause the game for right now and just let things move the way they need to move. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Now what do we have? Okay, we still have... couple others. I want the fleet consolidated because I don't expect to have very widely spread operations, at least not in the beginning. Um, later on, that'll probably change. And here come all the garrisons. Merge these fools. Okay. I want our very best admiral looking after all the ships. I don't know if they have positioning in this or not. Okay, the one thing we're going to do is we're going to create a separate submarine group. All submarines, and we're going to call this Japan Submarine Fleet. Sorry, I don't know Japanese, so I'm not going to use the original Japanese name, so it would be very confusing for me. Um, who's the best with submarines? Does anyone have the Sea Wolf trait? You do. All right. Now, one of the things that Hearts of Iron 3 had that this doesn't is naval positioning, which meant that fleets could only be a certain size. There's not a lot of tactical sense, in my opinion, Hearts of Iron 4, in spreading your fleet unless you have a lot of areas to cover, which very well may be the case. Um, but it's not going to be the case for us. Um, Alright, Chinese theater. We're going to shift everything away from the Soviet Union. 
Because we're going to play that they're going to be our friends. Um, I want you in charge of this. New battle plan. Right there. No, wait, not there. Menkukuo is actually from friendly to us. Don't do that. Edit mode. No, not edit mode. Trash mode. Um, what was I going to do? I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, front line. We're going to put it right here, actually. And we're going to make an offensive line. We're going to go straight for Nanjing. Why is it like... Yeah, that's fine. I don't object to that necessarily. Let's start building up the planning there. And then everyone else will be part of the garrison, so... Can I get the non-aggression pack with the Soviet Union early? No, not really. We're gonna need to uh, rush that focus before we attack China then. Right. Ah, airplanes. We do need to worry about those as well. God, this is a nightmare. Yeah, we desperately need to get rid of these. There should be a way to do this, at least I thought there was, where you could, like, wipe out most of them. Uh, I would like to exclude the ones on the carriers. Here we go, and then we want to disband all of these. Um, how do we do that? There's a there's a quick way to do this, isn't there? There we go, yes. Send all the equipment to the reserves. And then we can actually build our own air wings where we actually need them, instead of having them scattered all over the place. Which actually makes them kind of hard to keep track of. Oh, crap. I think I just scrapped only... Uh, I just grabbed only the carrier fighters. That's exactly what happened, shit. I'm gonna click it on click it. And we actually need to fix this now for the carriers. Because it did the opposite of what I wanted. It only scrapped the... Yeah, this is a problem. We're going to do this one at a time, which is really kind of crappy, but there's not much else I can do about it, so... Expand... If I do it this way, will this actually select them all? It will. Okay, there we go. So I misunderstood how that actually works. Um, for right now, our number one priority is creating carrier air wings. I actually want to create a new carrier fleet. I just want to put airplanes on the carriers. How do I do that? Um, shit. 
shit. Um, this is what happens when you're not paying very close attention. Um, that's just gonna change us to. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. I want. I want each airplane. I each want to have like fifteen fighters. You know, I'll put 20, actually, on each carrier. Because that's what matters the most, right? And then we'll do 20 carriers. Okay. Not 20 carriers. We'll do 20... And then 20. No, not all of them. They will not all fit. And 20. No. Twenty. There we go. A good twenty-one, why not? That'll be a good amount of um, fighters. Those will rally up quite quickly here. Okay, you can have 45 planes. We're going to have 25 naval bombers here. What should we just type it in? That would be a very handy thing to have. Part of it is these are very small quantities because this isn't really what the interface is designed for. But that's fine. So you get your 25 there. I clicked on the wrong button, but that's fine. Akagi, you're going to get... Let's see, about 20. Be 34. So we need 17 uh, bombers and 17 close air support. Uh, we'll do 20 carrier. We'll do 20 of the bombers and 20 of the close air support. That's a little better for us, I think. Okay, that'll be full. I did not create any. Yeah, I did. I created fighter wings for Akagi, didn't I? I guess I didn't. So it'll be 20 for you. I must have clicked X or something by accident. Okay, so it'll be 40, and then we'll have um, 18 of the carrier close air support. And we can always change these over time. So if, if we fight America, the close air support's probably not going to matter quite so much, but the naval bombers might. Uh, you have your fighters, and that's it. So on this one, we'll go ahead and create the uh, 20 and then 18. Right. Now, for new carriers, you can actually specify, I want this many airplanes on this craft when it's finished. Uh, 17 for the closer support here. Um... So that you don't have to do all this clicking every time. And as we build more carriers, that's actually exactly what we'll do. In fact, let's take a quick look at the production interface. What are we doing for the carriers we're building now? Are we building carriers now? We are. So click on the wing. Um... I want at least some close air support on every attack aircraft. That'll be good. Um, let's put everything in. Yeah, deploy with the rest of the fleet. Unless you're a submarine, then you get to join the submarine fleet. Ooh, 
We're definitely going to want to build more carriers. Um, that's without saying. Oops, 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 oops. I messed up. You go with that fleet. You go with that fleet. You go with that fleet. And then convoys. Once you start making convoys, we should solve a lot of our problems there. Who's not assigned to a command group? Oh. Uh, go ahead and join the Home Islands Force. I should give you guys a leader too, shouldn't I? You can have this guy for right now. Okay, that's all of our units are now assigned. That submarine's almost finished. Okay. Now, to keep preparing for our eventual war with Japan, China, do we not have an air base anywhere here? We don't. This is actually somewhat problematic. Are there no air bases in this area? Oh yeah, there's one right there. Okay, what am I talking about? Okay, Lao Tung. I want all the fighters. And I want closer support. And I want interwar bombers. This is going to be where most of our air force is in the beginning. And then we'll shift it around as we need to. Right, so that actually gets the air force in a place where it can do the most good. Okay, enough pausing. Let's keep going. What are we... Oh, never mind. It was taken care of. I thought we didn't have enough stuff, but it turned out we did. It's fine. Right. Now, eventually, once I feel more secure, we might shift the Home Islands Force out. Why am I building Marines right now? I'm an idiot. I'm actually going to... We need straight-up infantry. We don't need marine divisions. And these guys, these aren't this, this, these close to completion. We'll cancel them all. I need infantry. Because we're going to be going after China first. And then if they agree to be our puppet peacefully, I would be very delighted. But that also strikes me as kind of unlikely. Give me two lines of a... There we go. This is what we need. And we'll move them to, to the Korean army as soon as we can. Hmm. Excellent. Okay. I would like... All these actually sound really, really cool. But... I want to make sure we get that non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Um, that's important to me. When we get enough political power, we'll start trying to drift toward communism. And then we'll, I don't think we'll join their faction. I think we will make our own communist faction. we we'll fight the Soviet Union later on. But we'll see. And as I'm sure you know, if you've played Hearts of Iron 4... Cells, you know that the early part of the game isn't the most thrilling. Um, it's because we're just building up forces. Okay. I've got my mechanical engineering. Let's keep working on research time buffs. It's purely coincidental, by the way, that we're actually playing um, communism for two series in a row. Here goes the Spanish Civil War. That's a thing. Hi, Spain. But the Nationals will probably win. They seem to win 99% of the time. I know they did historically. But when I unclack historical focus, I expect more wackiness. And a Republican victory would be pretty wacky as far as these things go. Okay. And let's go immediately for southern expansion. 
this is just this is actually primarily for the non-aggression pact. I'm not going to be attacking either of those two countries anytime soon. And the Soviets won the border skirmish. Well, that's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Wow, 2.49 million. That's a lot of people. Basic machine tools. Excellent. Um, We went with Disperse last time. I think it makes more sense to go concentrate it with Japan. And I know we'll be somewhat vulnerable to bombing runs at some point, but if our fleet is good enough, we should be okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and name a communist demagogue, a revolution, here we go, Sanzo Nosaka. I don't want a coup. Eh, a coup or uprising. We'll ask the people for support. I really like the visual here that shows how good the um, the air forces are. That was added in the oak patch. It's really helpful, in my opinion. Because I do want to start actually focusing on China here in the not-too-distant future. Construction, very good. Excellent. But you saw I have. You have no locations. Oh, I actually can't, I can't deploy you in Korea, can I? There we go, you can deploy there. Let's have the Chinese theater selected, and you're going to join that. Oh, you're not part of the action yet. There you go, you are now. Off you go. We now have a war goal until 1938. I don't want to go after the United States right now. Um, let's get the border incident. Oh, we have attack. That just finished. We could research improved carriers. No, actually we can. We're way ahead of time on carriers. Destroyers are really important. And I'm leaning toward focusing on that. There we go. Do I have this goal till 1938, right? Okay. Because we could bum rush the Netherlands down here. No, we need Marines for that, and I committed to doing China first. That was weird. Quite strange. Okay. I should have a non aggression pack this over here. Let me just make sure of that, because I noticed they're not moving. Yeah, here we go. Okay. How strong is communism becoming? It's at 10% already. That's actually pretty good. 
I'm the sign division. Wait, what? There you go. Now you're assigned. Okay. Marco Polo Bridge incident. We gain national unity. And we're going to keep pressing on here. I do want China to be a puppet. And if China agrees to be a puppet, then that'll be perfect. But I don't think that's very likely. I think we're going to have to fight him. If that's the case, that's fine. Um, you know what? China doesn't really have a navy, does it? All right, we're backtracking. We're going to go ahead and put everybody here. Because it's most important that we get this done. And we have a good enough navy, and China either doesn't have one or it's not very good, that I'm not terribly concerned about them sneaking past. Oh, let's keep pushing on Grand Battle Plan. We'll do some army upgrades, I think, with the next tech slot that becomes free. But it's really important to get the other stuff in there, too. I know, it can be pretty contradictory at times. Um, let's look at the military high command options. Reduced attrition is good. Better infantry is very good. Oh, you know what? I think it would be here. Hmm. Oh, here we go. A grand battle plan expert actually would be pretty tasty. Let's actually save up and we'll pick him up. So we can start getting enough army experience that we can, um, yeah, spend some time on that. I know, we're almost out of supplies already. In fact, we actually, take it back, we actually are low on supplies. What else is in reserves? Oh, I've got more fighters in here. Absolutely. Here we go. Concentrated industry, good. We're gonna focus now on trying to get. Um, is there any better industrial tech? Industry tech is the only one that's really worth rushing. Improved machine tools would make a lot of difference. Let's do it, and then we'll actually start on some better infantry weapons as well. Actually, already ahead of time for everything, but okay. Let's get the infantry support weapons. That'll help quite a bit, actually. In my humble opinion. Okay. Yes! Oh, that's glorious. We didn't even need to fight. Okay, this actually changes my strategy quite a bit. I didn't think they'd actually submit. Um, Alright, let's go for the severe overkill, and let's go after Shang-Chi. This is going to be ridiculous, by the way. It's going to be even a little bit silly. 
You know what? Scrap all the orders. There we go. Alright. So that's actually really good. Let's go and make our own faction now. Oh, I must have lost some due to attrition. That's fine. That's fine. Only 250 to get the Grand Battle Plan guy. Alright, guys. You're actually going to be the new Home Island's Defense Force. Once this is done, by the way, we are going to start working on Marines because it's going to be really important for us to take down the um, to take down the Netherlands and get their resources. That went really well. I'm genuinely surprised that they just like yeah okay. It's good though. It's really good. So yeah, you're going to join this group, and you'll actually get a general. We'll just use you purely as like a reserve kind of defense force at the moment. We've unlocked new destroyers. This is very good news. How are we doing on support equipment? Oh, let's get field hospitals. Although we're not going to superly be disadvantaged by... We're not going to be hugely disadvantaged by... So my brain is not working right now, for which I apologize. We're not going to be hugely disadvantaged by the lack of, um... Uh, yes. Last time, I promise. We're not going to be hugely disadvantaged by something that I've not completely forgotten about, so... It's fine. If I can take over China without firing a shot, that would be awesome. Pfft, I'm not gonna... Yeah, go to hell, Germany. I'm not gonna join your stupid pact. Yes, invite. 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 Okay. Let's go for... Let's get that extra research slot, actually. Let's go for the student movement. And now... Our ship designer is going to be really important. I absolutely want the Yokosuka Naval Arsenal. I want the bigger carriers. Here we go. I do want this this to eventually turn communist. Should join my faction. <laughs> Ooh, actually, you know, I didn't think of this. If we do go communist, I wonder if it'll break up the faction. It shouldn't. But doesn't. How many more Fubukis are we actually building? Just one more. We'll finish it. And then as things become freed up, 
We'll go from there. Bum, 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 bum. I haven't generated that much. Okay, I guess I kind of have. Okay, infantry is done. Lovely. Join up. Take me justify a war goal against them. A long time. I'm trying to think actually the Netherlands should be our primary target. But for that we need Marines. Excellent. Some nice infantry support weapons. Always appreciated. Um, it is 1937, so we can go ahead and push for industry. Good. When can we unlock... Actually, we need better airplanes. I want better airplanes very badly. Like the KI-27. Do it. I don't probably research the things. So I could probably get a lot quicker through focus trees. But, I want the extra research slot. I wanted to race toward that. National of Spain won. Hindenburg survived. So that's a thing that happened. When will all of my units be finished? Just deploy them now. And let's get those marines built. Oh shit. Totally new plan. Um This is what happens when you don't become communist as quickly as you expected to. can delete this one here. That's not going to happen. Okay, this now becomes, instead of being a defensive army, this is now an aggressive army. And your target is... right here. It's pretty simple, you're just going to take Sakhalin. Well, maybe possible that nothing happens here. Where did my war, goal go? war goals go? I was told I had until 1938. <gasps> oh, that's such bullshit. Oh. Damn it, okay. Let's make the communists more popular. That kind of bums me out. That's, I don't know if that's just an error in the tooltip or what, but that's... That's not cool, guys. I had big hopes for this. 
Maybe we just go non-aligned. Hmm. Uh, aircraft designer, I want to focus on fighters. Another boost to communism. France and Britain formed an alliance. Okay. Imperial austerity. Free factories would be pretty sweet. I think it's time to start focusing on boosts to the Navy. I definitely want the Long Lance. It was such a good weapon in real life, too. It was probably the best torpedo in the world. Actually, I don't know who I'm kidding. It was the best torpedo in the world. Um, we're going to spend some time also on Air Doctrine. Um, yeah, it's on 1948. I can't really, uh, I can't really improve any of these. Okay, let's get some Air Doctrine going on. We're going to go with Battlefield Support. That's going to be our primary mission there. That really kind of bugs me that we lost that. Those war goals. I was looking forward to actually hitting Japan. Let's have a referendum. And we'll make it communism. So we're the Japanese People's Republic. And now that we're communist, perhaps you will be willing to join my faction. Let's improve relations. Because if we can get them to join our faction, that will help a little bit. Field hospital is done. This is good news. Um, I'm not going to be building a lot of tanks. That's not really my thing. What else can we improve? Artillery, yes. We do want better artillery. That goes without saying. It's interesting how much things can change. My goals were entered to go to war with the United States, and then this all happened. Um, oh my god, that would be the most amazing thing ever. We're going to try it. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to try to stir up a communist coup against the government. And we'll actually support it if it happens. We'll declare all the wars. Hmm. <laughs> I mean... It could be useful now that we're communists. Actually, spend some of our time trying to eat up some of these minor Chinese states. But the Soviets canceled the non-aggression pact, and that concerns me. Okay, if you'll sign a new one, then I will shift my forces. Okay. All right, you just saved your bacon there. Now we can start focusing on eating all the Chinese miners. And we're going to puppet everything that we can. You can delete this. 
and that. And now all of my soldiers are invisible, just like from real life. Um, now that I'm communist, Uh, I don't have quite enough political power. That's fine. I'll have it in a couple of days. There you go. Shift over there. They definitely increase naval production. Advanced torpedoes. I want to start on some of the new destroyers. Yes. I have no naval experience. Oh, I guess I do have naval experience. Okay. I'm going to prove the torpedoes on the destroyers. That'll help a little bit. Wait, is this the right one? No, I want the Mark 1. There we go. Give me 10, and I'm gonna have you focus all of your time and energy on that. So we're gonna be focusing our time eating on, um, Chinese miners, and then once they're all gone, then we can focus on what we might want to do next. Um, actually, let's send everything over here. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too big to send... need to start making these new fighters um and we'll immediately research the carrier variant factories as they start to come online to be focused on that. We should have been changing policies like industry and stuff. I'm an idiot. You probably already knew that, though. Um, it's 1937. Let's grab construction time. Germany's been. I don't think Germany's Anschluss yet have that. They're still in Austria there. What are you focused on? Oh, you're gonna go for Molotov Ribbentrop Pact first. Interesting. Already wacky things are happening. I love it. 
Now, anything we conquer in China is going to go into reorganized national China. Just because I, I, I like to avoid border war. I could just puppet it, I guess, separately. Um, Alright, now we're going to start focusing on these in industry bonuses. Yeah, let's start doing that. Super heavy battleships, maybe later on. Um, that's a really good one, too, actually. As is this one. They're all great. Yeah, I can't demand anything yet. But I will as soon as I can. So do the warlords. <gasps> I get free war goals against everything? Oh my god, yes. You know what? I'm actually going to cancel this. Oh, I never did just... Oh, sorry, I never had enough... Yeah, that's perfect. That's going to be perfect. It'll give me all these war goals. I'll start eating everything. It'll be great. Um... It's going to be 1940s where I can really get better line fighters up. Do I research the Yamato battleship? Eh... Artillery is on the way. I get a bonus anti-tank. That's pretty cool. Hmm. This is tough. Yes, let's work on naval doctrine. Actually, that's actually a really good idea. Let's improve carriers. Perfect. And with that, that'll be it for this episode. Um, I know not a whole lot happened this episode, but you've seen my preparations. Um, we're gonna start eating as many of the Chinese puppets as we can, and I have very little confidence, or very little doubt that we'll be able to do this. Once we've established that, it'll be interesting to see where we go from here. Um, I do plan on attacking the United States at some point. Um, I do want to hit the Netherlands at some point, but again, we're in this weird position where we lost the war goals, even though we shouldn't have. <clears throat> um, yeah, if we can get French Indochina and Siam, we can maybe start pushing on India. Because I wouldn't mind taking the British out of the war before we think about the United States. But we'll see what happens. It's a very curiously quiet world right now. Um, no wars. Uh, the only war, in fact, the entire game star has been the Spanish Civil War, and that ended about three months ago, four months ago, something like that. And we also have my super secret coup going on in the United States, so we'll see how that works out. Um, if this does break out in Civil War, we will support it, and we'll see how it works out for us. But that'll have to be for another episode. For now, though, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have... Please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of our grand strategy of eating up China and then jumping on the United States when we have the opportunity. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.